There we go. What's up, everybody? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? We had a little technical difficulty to start this thing out, but what else is new? How are you guys on this Monday morning? Welcome, welcome, welcome to our team live that we do here on Facebook every Monday. What's up? How are you, Marissa? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming on. What's up, Tracy? Yeah, nice to have you on here right away. It's always fun to see you guys jumping on here. Good morning, Bryce. It's nice to see, uh, I know people are busy and have a lot of things going on and most people catch these on the replay, so um, that's all good, that's why we do this, but it is awesome to see our friendly folks jumping on here. What's up, Randall, Bryce, Jeff, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, Graham, hello, hello, hello. It, um, it's really cool that we're able to do this. Mr. TW, what's going on, my man? What's happening? I want to get you on one of these, TW. I'd love to bring you in live here. In fact, if you want to jump on this one live, you just let me know in the comments and I'll bring you on. Um, but it's always uh, fun to see you guys jumping on here and um, communicating with us. And it's just, it adds another element to fun to these uh, lives that we're doing. So we are right in the just the beginning here of Elite Week. I know a lot of you guys have been preparing for Elite Academy for some time and it is this week and I could not be more excited about seeing a lot of you, maybe for the first time, meeting a lot of you. Hey Holly, how are you? Thanks for jumping on. Um, if you guys are going to Elite Academy, drop some comments down there. If it's your first one, let me know if it's your first Elite Academy. I wanna know who you guys are. Um, it's really cool being able to, when we get to Elite Academy, putting uh, the faces in reality, uh, connecting it to uh, what's social media faces and comments. It's like we know each other already uh, because of social media, but uh, it's another level, right? It's another level of uh, getting to uh, driving otherwise. I'd be like, I got you, got you, got you, got you. Um, it's another level of connection when we get together at Elite Academy in a live situation. So this week's going to be incredible. Um, let me talk about the workshops from this past weekend. That's awesome, Graham. 15, that is so cool from Florida. Um, and Ashley, yes, I don't think it's ever going to get closer than this one. So we're expecting you guys to have a crew there. That's good. What's up, Chad? Um, let's talk about the workshops from this past weekend a little bit. Uh, as you guys know, we do virtual workshops every month. Doesn't matter what's going on uh, throughout the month, whether it's Elite Academies or Lead Schools, because the workshops are intended for a, a, to touch a, the biggest group of people. That is our people that are just getting started uh, with their life vantage journey. And so um, we do them every month, regardless of it being an Elite Academy month or anything else. And so we had one this past Saturday. They will be the first Saturday of every month. And uh, I think we have later in the year, um, we've got a workshop and Elite Academy on the same day. So we're going to have to kind of see how that plays out a little bit. But we'll let you guys know. I think that's later in uh, the fall of this year. But I just wanted to give a shout out to those that uh, held workshops in their homes or got groups together. I feel like the leaders at True Blue feel like that is by far the best way to take advantage of the workshop is to have people together. I know Karen Woodruff had a group together. I saw Lloyd Klein had a group together. And I know many of you guys did have groups together and we wanna see those pictures. We wanna see those pictures right here inside of the team page so that you guys, uh, one, we get to know who's doing the leadership uh, roles or who's playing those roles a little bit more so in their organization so that we can reach out to you guys and maybe add you to some leadership calls that we're doing. Um, we also want to just know who is most active in the organization. It allows us to uh, honestly know where we should spend our time, uh, where it's going to have its most value. And that's with the people who are engaged in building their business and, and engaged helping build other people's business by getting groups together. There is so much power in putting people together in a room, 
where stories can be shared, questions can be answered, and it's one thing to see a presentation. It's a completely another thing to maybe have some refreshments, some food maybe, and just have a conversation, just a real conversation. And we know uh, that is happening at a much higher level of belief when we're doing it across the table with someone where we can, you know, not only hear their voice, but we can read their body language um, when we ask questions and so forth. So um, please, call to action. Here's the call to action. Uh, if you have pictures from Saturday, post them inside the team group. Tell us who was there, and we'd love to be able to um, congratulate you guys and jump in there and have some fun comments with you. So those workshops are going to happen again uh, the first weekend in March, so look forward to that. Start planning now. Uh, I think a lot of you were like, oh, goodness, the workshop's this weekend. It's only three days out. Uh, so put it on your calendar. You guys know our number one core value or core value number one is that we are intentional about our business and life. And so be intentional about your workshops in March. Put it in the calendar, mark it down and start preparing for it now. Start inviting for it now. Start lining it up and then uh, we'll see the success there. And, and truly where we're seeing the best success throughout our organization or where people are getting together. It's just... It's kind of odd um, because we know so many people had uh, maybe pushed to, um, I don't want to say just a social media strategy, but maybe got focused on social media only. And uh, where we're seeing our biz biggest success right now is groups that are, are uh, using a hybrid where they're very active every day in social media, but they're not relying completely on social media to build their business. Uh, they're still very active in meeting with people. Uh, whether that's them driving or people coming to them. Uh, so just keep that in uh, the back of your mind. This week is, uh, I'm holding up number two, but it should be number five, right? Core value number five. And that is that we are solution seekers. We keep our paddles in the water. And uh, when we were coming up with this core value, it was like, there was a, there, we, we wanted to keep it kind of where it wasn't too many core values. We wanted to kind of keep it concise. And these were actually two separate core values, right? One of them was we're solution seekers. The other one was uh, we keep paddles in the water. And in reality, we said, you know what? They're, they're really one in the same, right? Because why do people get their paddle out of the water? Or why do they stop moving forward? Why do they stop doing meetings? Why do they stop doing calls? And there's a number of reasons why. Um, distractions is a big one. Fear is another big one. Uh, doubt, you know, is another big one. And the only way to overcome that is by being in solution mode. And these core values were developed so that every one of you that are part of this team and build your business according to these core values will A, uh, you're gonna preserve the company because if, if, if you stick to these core values, then life advantage will be around a long, long time. And if you stick to the core values, you'll build a very strong team internally. Um, so being in solution mode is one of the things that Lynette and I identified uh, as one of the core things that helped us succeed in this business because there were a number of things that uh, came along our way that it's, it kind of stopped us in our tracks, right? And so Lynette and I uh, experienced a lot of failures in this business and it's kind of when I have these conversations with people individually, uh, many times they're like, oh, shocked, you guys, you guys had some failures? And it, it, uh, it kind of uh, takes me back a little bit because of the perception, right? Because I think many times people come into this and they have this perception that we were always the leaders that we try to be now or you know, we just signed up and became pro tens, which I know no one knows that. But, you know, in the back of their mind, people are thinking that there may have been something just special. Right. And so the core values is what that special sauce is, guys. That's the, the core values. It's not Lynette and I. Right. Or any of the other leaders in this organization. 
It's the activities that drive the results. And one thing that we've always been is a solution seeker. Uh, Lynette and I are not afraid to try different things and it will not always work. You're going to be wrong sometimes. The key is being, being wrong less than you're right. <laughs> uh, but there will be a lot of times where you're wrong. You're gonna make a decision and it was the wrong decision. You did it for the right reasons, but the results did not uh, prove out to be uh, the right, that the results proved that you made the wrong decision. And so like, for instance, um, early on Lynette and I bought packs for people, like we bought people in to the system, okay? In the comments, if you've ever bought someone's pack, I want you to put a one in the comments, if you've ever bought someone into the business, okay? Now, in some cases with a really strong strategy, you might, there might be some reasons for doing it, but 99.9% .9 of the time, don't ever buy someone's pack into the business. Don't do that. Don't buy them into the business. So if you're one of those people, it's okay. It's okay. Lynette and I did it. We made that mistake. We just, you know, heard the story that they were broke and that they really, really, really wanted into the business. And, um, you know, we were like, man, if we could, we could just get them in. They know so many people. It's, it's worth the money for me to buy them in. And... Even if the person that you buy in does something, it's not duplicatable. It's not duplicatable. And it doesn't matter what works, it only matters what duplicates, guys. And from the moment you open your mouth, when you start inviting people, you're showing the duplication process. When you, whatever tool, whatever video you show, you are starting the duplication process. The way you sign someone up is part of the duplication process. So um, if you're buying people in to LifeVantage, I'm just telling you guys right now, um, I don't think that's gonna play out very good. And Lynette and I made that mistake and we made it more than once. <laughs> we did it more than once. So um, there she is. We have, got, <laughs> we have got a crazy day going right now. Um, Two contractors showed up. Why did we get white all of a sudden? Ooh. Like you brought something. I brought the light. <laughs> wow. I see the light. Back at church, I see the light. Ooh, I got some weird action going on here too. That's age, girl. That's oh, age. stop it. That's the light. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm a shadow. Oh, goodness. Well, you have to get closer or I got to back up because well, I'm like super white. Sorry, right. guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to come disrupt the party. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here. So we had two contractors here. You know, it never fails. The week that we got, you know, Elite Academy and all this stuff going on. We got deliveries. We got a refrigerator that was leaking water or backed up lines or something. And anyway, <laughs> I'm just talking about some of the failures. Maybe you overheard some of the conversation out there. I've already talked about buying packs and how that was her idea. She... <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, no. Uh, but, you know, at the time it just seemed like the right thing to do and it was not the right thing to do. Um, secondly, that comes to mind a mistake that we made um, and, and we're covering core value number five, right? That we're solution right, seekers, right? right, right. right? Um, second thing I can remember that we did wrong and we just didn't know any better because we were kind of following lead. the lead is uh, we told a bunch of people how exciting it was that we had only enrolled personally about 25 distributors and it got us to the elite ranks, Pro 8, Pro 9, almost to Pro 10. I mean, but we, were, we, we got to Pro 9 uh, with less than 30 personal enrollments and here was the real failure. This was like the epic fail of, of the messaging, bad messaging. Um, we did that, it only signed up two customers. And that's the truth, it's the absolute truth. We signed up less than 30 distributors and we only had signed up two customers. We'd have probably, well no, we would have got through the ranks faster if we were more intentional about getting customers too because how many people start off as a customer and transition into distributors, so. Ooh. Epic failure, epic, epic, epic failure. So we realized, so like, because we're talking about being a solution seeker, we realized really quick, wait a second, 
everybody invites differently. Obviously, Lynette and I's invite was a business invite. I mean, because it's really hard to get 30 distributors and two customers and all you're talking about is product, right? Just mm -hmm. do, the, do the math, right? We were talking mainly business. But that's where our passion and our excitement was. Not everybody's like Lynette and I as far as what we were excited about coming into this. Um, Lynette and I came into this with good health and we still have good health. So if we would have had really bad health, and we started taking Protandum and it like changed our life, like no more prescriptions or, you know, we're able to go work in a garden or work out and we couldn't do that. Yeah, we would have been talking way more about the product and that's where our passion would have been. The point is that neither are wrong. Neither are wrong. What was wrong is that we were teaching our team the wrong message. We were teaching our team that customers weren't important. That, would, that you should just be getting distributors because that's what we did and that's what you should do. And that, that, that was an well, epic failure. Well, you said something too that, you know, we talked about business because it's where our passion was, right? So people have the ultimate success when they are talking about their passion. So whatever your passion side of this is, is really where your focus should be because what we talked about in the, the workshop was that tr that uh, emotional transfer that takes place. People don't necessarily retain what you're saying. They're not like really hearing you. They're remembering how you're making them feel. So if you're passionate about the business and you're talking that way, they can feel it. If you're passionate about the product, they can feel it. The important thing is that you tell them the whole story. You tell them the product story and the business story and let them decide, but always speak from your passion because that's where you'll have the most results. Um, lately, most of our enrollments right now as distributors are coming from people we had already signed up as preferred customers. Um, just last week, I went to the post office, sent out two boxes of samples um, to people who I hope will get on the product. They, I mean, they're, they're stalking you on Facebook, guys. Your network is stalking you on Facebook. They're watching what you're doing. And I'm telling you, most of the time, their first move in the direction of life Vantage is going to be as a customer. That's going to be their first move most of the time in your coal markets and, and the attraction market. Um, but I just want you guys to know you're going to make mistakes. That's inevitable. Don't let that be the ultimate story. You know, the saying is we, we are all going to roll up. I want you guys to, to remember this or write it down. We are all going to roll up on a stop sign in life. We're all going to hit stops in life, okay? It's up to you to decide how long you stay stopped. It's not a red light. It's a stop sign, right? So you have to stop. It's the law. Like Life happens. It's going to happen. You're going to have to stop. Life is going to stop you, whether it's sickness Whatever, a million things or the way your business is going or life is going to stop you, but you get to decide how long you stay stopped, okay? And that's why core value number five is so important to your success is that there's, you're going to have to find solutions to the problem, right? Why do, we, why do we give packs away? Why do we sign people in? Because we want enrollments and we're so frustrated. We're like, we got to get enrollments, got to get enrollments. Well, listen... There, there's, there's, a, there's a reason why you're not getting enough enrollments and it's not because you're not buying enough people in, okay? It has a whole lot to more to do with your belief, your posture, and, your, and how many people you're actually inviting, right? So um, just, just remember that as you move through your business that you have to keep the paddles in the water, right? The sun's coming out and we're getting wider. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're at, we're really we're gonna still look we're, like ghosts. In we're a we're white people, but we're not that white. <laughs> there you go. That's funny. Is that better? Mm -hmm. The sun is out in Florida. Sorry, all you Northerners. It's gonna be eighty down here today. It is. Um. So Elite Academy Week, guys. Let's talk about this because we are upon it. We can't wait to see all of you wonderful people there. It is just. You know, we've never missed one. Lynette and I've never missed one. It doesn't mean we won't miss one in the future because. It's you know it's been like nine and a half years. It's been nine and a half years, <laughs> and we a haven't pretty good track record. We haven't missed know. one, but I'm going to tell you, we won't miss one because we don't want to be there. That's for sure. Ever like I'm excited. Like I love going to elite academies. I love being surrounded by amazing people that are happy and excited and uh, positive thinking and 
who doesn't like traveling and trying new cultures and new food? She's never been to Charleston, no. so it's going to be cool. It's got a lot of Southern charm. If you're from the South, uh, Charleston has its own little unique you know, charm about it. Uh, when you're in the South, you're always going to eat good. I'm just going to say it may not be well, it won't be healthy, <laughs> but it's going to taste good. It's going <laughs> to taste really good. So make sure you guys get some time to get there a little early. But in a leadership call this uh, month or a couple weeks ago, uh, it was brought to the leadership's attention that it's really been beneficial for you as some of the newer distributors to meet your support team or meet the elites in the organization and to meet some of the corporate staff, how that made an impact in people's business. And um, thinking back on Lynette and I's journey with LifeVantage, Man, that is true. Like, Huge. I, I remember a dinner, I'm not going to say any names, but I remember a distributor coming to a dinner with us early on that sat with us for three hours and um, he was the first person to hit Pro 8, he was the first person to hit Pro 9, he was the first person to go all through those ranks and we had dinner with them like, and we just got to pick their brain and those moments changed our life. Well, I mean, honestly, just sometimes the conversations that we had um, when the sessions ended, because during session we were in our seat, because that's where you're going to learn. But. Take, uh, take a note there. Like, <laughs> don't talk to me in the hallway during session. Not we, that, not, and that's not in a mean way. It's no, just it's that just the reality that, is what is prepared and on that stage has a lot of impact on your business, and you need to be hearing it, and so do we as leaders. Like, we want to know everything that's being said. But after it was over, we would stay up late and just hang around the hotels where the leaders were in hopes of having conversations. And some of those conversations are the ones that made the biggest impression on us and where we really were able to take away some nuggets. So don't yeah. underestimate that. Go, go get you some good food, but don't let dinner be what the whole night is built around. Like, go get you some food and get back to where the groups are gonna be hanging out. Um, and if you wanna be organized and be intentional about making sure that this happens, that you can get your pe people in front of some key other people, um, start scheduling it now. Get with your teams and say, hey, let's meet at this time at this place and we wanna introduce you to the team. And um, I know the leaders of our team are very accommodating that way. Uh, Lynette and I are, are nonstop um, meeting people, talking to people, and we're more than happy. Uh, we won't be hard to find. We will not be hard to find at this event. We're going to be present um, at the, the entire event through the whole sessions. Um, and so it was, a, it was a topic that came up that mattered. And so if you're going to Elite Academy for the, for the first time, ask your team you know, get up to Pro 4, Pro 5, Pro 6 in your team and say, hey, I want to meet the top leaders in True Blue. I want to meet some of the executive staff and then let's let's make that happen because it can absolutely make a, a big difference in your life. Mm -hmm. And if you can score a dinner or a lunch or a breakfast or a snack with some of those leaders in as intimate as possible, okay? When, when you get above 20 people in a room, 30 people in a room, there's, there's not enough in, intimacy there where you can actually have the impact that should take place. So I know there's lunches and dinners that have big groups and that's fine, but it's better if you can break that down in some smaller groups, just the little huddles, the little huddles of five or six people, super, super powerful. So uh, get there early, get prepared uh, for what you're about to get involved in, meaning um, no sleep for a few days. So get you plenty of sleep coming into it um, and you're there for business. And so uh, put your business hats on and meet as many people as you can, network, because truly it's a life-changing event. And it will be. There will be lives changed this week. Lives are going to change mm -hmm. this week. Someone's life or many people's lives will never be the same again after Friday and Saturday, ever. They're going to change for the rest of their lives. Ours did nine and a half years ago, 
and uh, we want you guys to have the same type of experience as well. So uh, with that, guys, we're going to call this call a wrap. We're going to um, uh, see you guys this week. And uh, just know, guys, that uh, we all need to be in solution mode. We all make mistakes. Um, let's just keep paddles in the water, right? Learn from it. So you guys have a good week. We'll see you all later. See you soon.